Hi everyone and welcome to Digitales. I am Adam. Uh, I've got a couple of updates this week. Uh, two software updates. One is about uh, working out and the other one is the focus of this video. The first bit of news is Peloton. So most of you may have heard of Peloton. They're the guys that invented the Peloton bike and the Peloton treadmill that allows you to join all these uh, virtual classes over the massive screen they stick on the front of a spinning bike or a treadmill. They also have a app which allows you to do tons of different types of workout from strength, stretching, upper body, lower body. Um, they've got um, different stretching classes, live classes, pre-recorded classes, they're all there. And uh, you can go and download the app for your Android phone or your iPad or your iPhone. But they now have uh, a native app for the Apple TV. So I thought I'd check it out and uh, I'm already quite sore, but it was really good. Um, so if you don't want to invest 2000 pounds in a Peloton bike, you can actually download the app and it comes with a 30 day free trial. And then I think it's about 12 pounds a month after that. And there are hundreds of workouts. So if you're looking for a new workout app um, with lots of different uh, search capabilities and filters from beginner to intermediate from five minutes, 10 minutes, equipment, no equipment, etc., I do recommend from using it for about half a day um, that this app is really, really good. Anyway, that's first part. Second part is I saw that last week Fuji has released a piece of software that allows you to use some of their Fuji cameras as a webcam. Now, a lot of high-end DSLR and mirrorless camera cameras can be used, but you need to invest in a 200 to 300 pound uh, cam link. It's an actual piece of hardware that allows you to plug your camera into it. And then the ca that cam link then plugs into your laptop. Um, Elgato make one called the cam link. It's very expensive and it's very hard to get right now, especially during um, the current uh, pandemic crisis. So the fact that Fuji have brought out a software solution that saves you hundreds of pounds or hundreds of dollars is excellent. So I thought I'd try it out. So in this video, I'm actually going to download it. I'm going to see if it works with my Fuji X-T3 and uh, see what we can do with it. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to test it out and it's brand new. So I'm a little bit worried it won't work, but we'll see. Uh, again, I'm not using a normal Windows laptop. I'm using the new MacBook Pro 16 inch, but I've got a bootcamp version of Windows installed. So let's see if the drivers and everything work together and uh, we can get the Fuji X-T3 working with OBS or different uh, webcam software like Zoom, Teams, Skype, etc. Anyway, let's check it out. So I have a look at the website. Um, I've just gone to fujifilm-x.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, you can see on the screen, it is still a version 1.0 and it came out on the 27th of May. There's a link in the overview section uh, that gives you an overview of the different compatibility. Uh, assuming it's going to be between cameras. So you need Windows 10 and these are the cameras that are currently supported. Um, so if you've got an X2 X-T3 mm. uh, and an X-T4 that should be fine and some of the older models are here. Um, I've got an X-T3. Uh, used to have a 2 but I've sold that one and we're going to test it on that. So let's just go back have a look Fujifilm Most Cam Features and User Guide. Okay, how to install, download the zip file, decompress, and I'm guessing you're just running a setup.exe like that. Um, Windows 10, yeah, it's quite low setting, so hopefully it should work even this bootcamp version of Windows. Three, download, and there we can see it downloading. Okay. Let's download all. Oh. We've got the folder. Ah, going to go with the English version. Japanese isn't that great. And uh, set up the exe. I agree. Also read all that. 
You must restart your system for the configuration changes made to Fujifilm to take effect. Click yes to restart now or no if you'll do it later. Well, as I'm recording this on OBS right now, um, I'm going to click no and stop the recording and uh, reboot the system and then come back and see if it works. I rebooted the system and I thought I'd have a quick test before I started recording everything. And if I just switch over to my desktop, um, you can see a nice little animated background of classic He-Man. And I'll just drag over uh, OBS. So this is what I'm recording on right now. And I thought, well, I'll try and add uh, the Fujifilm uh, camera as a web camera into OBS. Now, the problem I've had is I can see the drop down that says Fujifilm, but when I select it, nothing happens. So if you've managed to get this working in OBS, then please let me know. The reason I don't think it's anything to do with hardware at the moment is I have got it working and I'll show you how I've done it. What I've done is I've installed um, many cams. I don't know if I've ever used many cams before. It's a little bit like OBS, but it allows you to have lots of different webcams open. So I'm just going to open up my main cams. And what you can see, hopefully on my desktop here, if I go full screen, is I have the Fuji um, camera all set up behind me and it's working. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Seems to be fine. You can see what's on my computer. And you can see, obviously, you can see on my Mac desktop and see this nice wide angle view. And this is all coming from the X-T3 now. So it works in many cams, but it doesn't work in OBS. And the other thing I worked out is it only works when you have it in photo mode, not video mode on the X-T3. And which means you get more of the 4x3, not the 16x9 setting. So what I've done here is I've actually zoomed in. So this is what get from the camera right now and you can see this white cable here this is the standard USB-C cable you get with the power adapter for your Mac so I've just unplugged it from the power adapter plugged it into the computer and then plugged it into the USB cable on actual break and that seemed to work fine now you have to change some of the settings so you have to make sure that USB tether is set to auto I had to set it up in photography uh, for photo mode and also yeah not use the video mode and then it all worked fine with many cams but it doesn't work with OBS but because I've got it on many cams what I can do is I can actually create a scene called Fuji many cams and flick to it so now you can see through OBS um, everything that uh, many cams can see. So I've got that cropped four by three more image there. So if I go back into many cams and go back onto this and then I zoom in again. So this is what I did before. Now I've got that setting. So if I go back to Uji, I'm just using my stream deck to flick through OBS. You should now get a full view of the room. So now I can flick between my different cameras in theory. So let's start with the stream cam. So hello everybody. That seems to work great. Then I'm going to flick to the FaceTime camera on my Mac and that's great. And then I want to go wide so you can all see what's happening in the room and we go wide. That's exactly what I wanted. Brilliant. Apart from the quality, so if you can look at this, I mean, compared to uh, the other cameras, this should be the best quality. It's the best lens, it's the most expensive camera, but it looks like they still need to work out some of the quality settings. Maybe it's because it's going through many cams, but if you have a look at that, the, some of the noise and the artifacts in this video, compared to you know, the quality coming from, a, this is a webcam, uh, obviously it's a really good webcam, but still this is 1080p 60 frames a second and um, this is also set up for 1080p 60 frames a second but the camera is capable of going up to 4k um, but we're not getting that quality yet 
But anyway, this is the first version 1.0. I'm really pleased that Fuji have brought out the software and uh, I'm looking forward to further updates and enhancements. But yeah, successful test pretty much. Can do what I want to, but yeah, I'll wait to see uh, if the quality improves over time and give you guys an update soon. Anyway, thanks for joining me. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up so other people get to see it. Uh, this software is pretty new, so there aren't too many videos out there with these guides. And if you want to know anything else about this, any of the cameras or any of the software I'm using, drop me a comment below. Thanks. Bye-bye.